I've been on many a conference call with campaigns. Many reporters do. They happen all the time. I have never been on one like this, and I think many people would say they haven't as well. So our viewers know what we're talking about. I want to play a part of this conference call. It was with the, Co the Thad Cochran campaign, and it got completely out of control. Listen to this. Black people were harvesting cotton. Why do you think it's okay to harvest their votes? They're not animals. Okay, so I'm happy to address any question, no matter the lunacy of it. Why do you use black people to try to get Cochran elected when they're not even Republicans, and you're treating them as if they're just idiots that they'll vote for Cochran just because they're black? That's ridiculous. And if, if the individuals who've decided that they want to try to hijack this call will just let us get through with it, I'll be glad to answer any of the questions. Now, these comments, we don't know who that person was. They appear right. they're not supporting Thad Cochran, which would suggest that they are supporters of yours. I want to give you this opportunity and the chance to condemn those racist remarks that were made with a lot of reporters listening. Well, sure, absolutely. This has nothing to do with race from my perspective, nothing whatsoever. This is about ideology and principle. This is about the Republican platform and conservative values. So that certainly we condemn any racist comments whatsoever, but bear in mind, we have no idea who that person is. Neither do you. And likewise, I, said I was. That. Yeah, absolutely. So we're not. Uh, you understand there are people out there we have no control over. We have no idea who that person is. Do you regret that this has gotten so ugly for the, any part that you've played in this whole race, that it's gotten me, so ugly? Let me tell you what I regret. Here's what I regret. The last two and a half weeks of that campaign, they went out to Democratic communities, predominantly African American in our state. They called me a racist. They race baited. They said if I was elected, I would suppress their right to vote or do away with it. They said if I was elected, that welfare would be cut off. They said if I was elected, that funding to historically black colleges and universities would be cut off. I regret any campaign of divisiveness that deals with race in the matter that they dealt with it. That was unfair. It's improper. And, they, and, and in so doing, they ran a scare tactic campaign that pushed 42,000 at least Democrats into the Republican primary. Do I think that's a problem? Absolutely. Because I don't think that kind of divisiveness and that type of race baiting belongs in the Republican Party. You definitely don't like how they ran their campaign. That is absolutely clear, Mr. McDaniel. But for the part that you've played, this is two people running in this race. Any regrets that you have and how ugly this has gotten? Which examples do you have where we've been ugly? I'm just saying there are two people running in this race. You think well, you've yeah, run it, a completely clean and fair well, campaign? Help me understand which examples do you have that show I haven't run a clean campaign? I'm asking if there are any regrets that you're part of now one of the ugliest primaries <laughs> that we've seen in a long time. I can't control the Cochran campaign's race bait and name calling. If you can find me an example of where we did something like that, you let me know and we'll talk about it.